Where are you going? To my office. I left my corporate career in Procter & Gamble and started my own project in 2013. Now I live in Singapore and run a company with around 30 people, half of them working full-time. We help individuals and companies to become successful in social media. In this video, I'll share why I've decided to live a rising corporate career, what I expected my life would be after it, and what it has become in the reality. And also why I've chosen Singapore as the best place for me and my family. The right life strategy is to improve the enjoyment of what you do with every single step. What I mean by that? Um, after graduating from the university, every next job I liked more and more. I graduated as an electrical and mechanical engineer and my first job was the alarm and CCTV service engineer at some shitty old Soviet Union type of aluminium production plant. I hated this job. You're constantly freezing cold, surrounded by co-workers who drink and smoke weed during working hours and your boss is shouting at you every day. What a life! I survived there for less than half a year. Then I switched to another service engineer job at a German company called Karcher. You know, these yellow high-pressure cleaners. That was much better, but still, it wasn't my dream job. After two years, I changed my role internally from a service engineer to a product manager as I wanted to be more on the business side. And that was already pretty cool. Uh, I led big complex projects, flew to Germany for training pretty often, so I enjoyed my job and life much more. Once I even went to Oktoberfest in Munich with my German colleagues and you know, it's a beer festival where you start drinking at 8 a.m. and by noon you are already dead. At the same time, I was a big fan of marketing. I read books and magazines about it, so I wanted to try myself in a proper marketing-oriented company. But since I had zero experience in this field and no proper education, I started to look for companies that hire marketers based on their personal skills more than existing marketing experience. At that time, there were two, Procter & Gamble and Unilever, which used this hiring approach. I applied to both and after a long and difficult preparation and series of interviews, I got a job as a junior Gucci brand manager in Procter & Gamble. I was super happy. That was like my dreams come true. After four years in Karcher, I started my new life chapter in Procter & Gamble. So throughout this time, I always kept in mind what I want to do, what makes me happy and what brings more fun into my life. And I think it's super important to analyze it. Of course, you don't want to quickly jump from one great idea to another, constantly switching jobs, but strategically is just the right way if you are thinking what you want to do in life. Uh, sorry, do I sound like Tony Robbins giving you a profound advice on how to live your life? No? Okay, good. Uh, disclaimer. Nothing is wrong with Tony Robbins. I even watched one of his YouTube movies and cried. And I don't cry that often. Last time I cried was when I imagined how my viewers are watching my video and never like and subscribe. Don't let me cry this time. Let's go on. Though my job in PNG was quite exciting, after two years I started to think about my own project in the marketing field. And after one more year I finally launched it and that's how a new entrepreneurship chapter of my life began. Looking back, I would say that every move in my career made me happier. I believe that it's so, so important. It's gonna be hard, but if you're persistent enough, you'll be fine. I said that I worked as a brand manager for Gucci Perfumery in Procter & Gamble. By the way, maybe you got confused. How the hell PNG is related to Gucci? That's how. It's very common when big brands like Gucci, Dolce Gabbana, Lacoste, Hugo Boss hand over their uh, perfume and makeup lineups to FMCG companies with established retail distribution. So PNG used to have these brands in their portfolio before selling them to Coty for $12.5 billion in 2015. But what's interesting is 
PNG never revealed a relationship to these beauty brands in its marketing because you don't want to buy a bottle of Gucci perfume knowing that the same company makes pampers, diapers and fairy dishwashing liquid. But uh, sorry for being off topic. So I left PNG and I started my own project. That was super exciting. But after one year, I found myself updating my resume on job search websites. The main reason was pretty common. Can you guess? Yeah, I was struggling to make money for a living. That's tough when you are checking your bank account and you don't see much there. I was really depressed, so I took a couple of job interviews. Luckily, I haven't got any offer. And after a week, I decided to give my project more time and try harder. And one year later, still not much result. Money from the business and honestly, I wouldn't call it business at that time. So money from the business was just never enough to cover my living. At some point, I found myself with 20K debt on my credit cards. Ugh, miserable time. But there was one episode that I never forget and it was probably a game changer for me. I was sitting on a balcony in our Dublin apartment, really depressed, thinking about how to earn money, how to make sales. And all of a sudden, one thought came to my mind out of nowhere. The thought was so easy, yet powerful. I'll never stop. Whatever it takes, I'll be pushing this project and I will not stop until it flies. I know, I know, it sounds ridiculous. Nothing happened physically, just this freaking thought. But after that, I knew I was gonna make it. After three whole years, I actually made this project fly and earned my first decent amount of money. I remember it was around 18K in Singapore dollars equivalent in one month and at that time that was a crazy amount of money for me of course since then there was a lot of uh, challenges ups and downs but the difference was that i never wanted to quit a business anymore freedom is the best takeaway if you're running your own business especially an online business what i hated about working corporate is that someone tells me what to do and whether i agree or not I have to do it. Of course, I also didn't like to go to the office every day, nine to five, with one and a half hours commute one way at some point of my life. But the biggest point was the feeling that it's not you who control your life, but someone else. The irony is that when you start your own business, you work more, not less. And often you work too late and also on weekends, but there is one little difference. You are doing it not because someone told you, but because you decided to do it. In a more practical way, I would say if running a business with a big chunk of uh, being online, you can travel much more. And that's really one of the best takeaways of having your own affair. The best advice I would give to myself at the age of 20 is to travel more to explore different countries and cultures. Moreover, try not to visit only, but to live in places for some time and try to make local friends and integrate into the culture. And actually, that's how I've chosen Singapore. I lived in France, Russia, Ireland, Spain, Luxembourg, United States and Singapore. And now I can say that for me, Singapore is the best place on earth right now and I'm trying to learn more about it and understand it deeper and better. Okay, sorry for being so pretentious and less hilarious today, and sorry that the number of jokes in this video is fewer compared to the others, but I just wanted to share my honest story with you. I hope someone gets inspiration out of it, or at least you had a good time during the last 10 minutes. Ciao!